Shake and they're off. They have only an hour and five minutes. I'm betting they'll get a bit of a time extension. There was a delay on uh, Gus's part getting to the table. Um, and players, we'll see. Our last giveaway of Jason Day's game is a really focused token. This goes to table 44 Mike Kostnick versus Kyle Pinkerton. That, always that, happens with the ghosts. That peg just sucks. <laughs> it is should, does. Like, it's just the one. worst. Make it out of hard steel so it never breaks again. I'm really surprised they just didn't make one that had three peg holes and actually like it stuck in them. Yeah, that would be good. But then it then the other pegs wouldn't fit it. Anywho, uh, so we're off to a slow start with the ghost. And Arvel just rushing straight towards uh, Alan's list. So I'm trying to take a proc and take one out so the ghost will have an easier time with them. Mm -hmm. And because, of, because it's Arvel, he can shoot those prockets even if he's bumped into his enemy. Yeah. And Alan is positioning to flank with Karnar. I think he'll barrel out of the way or not. I think he'll be happy exactly where he is. It always surprises me when people fly Karnor Jacks not using the red model. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the barrel roll. Well, we, I guess we know he's going around that rock next turn. I have a feeling that the Omega, Le Omega Leader will also hard one. Rather than go fight the ghost by himself? Yeah. I suspect you're right. Well, even with the no modifiers because of the FCS and Ezra, it, true, Omega Leader would have a really hard time because of only two dice, and eventually those hits will pile up. <clears throat> I'm just so worried about what's going to happen to these aces if they get piles of stress and focus on them, or uh, and uh, ion on them. That is. In the last game, Guri ended up with three stress tokens after just repeatedly bumping into uh, Chopper. And never really recovered. Three are taking the stress, but not really mattering because of Hera. Yeah, this, well, it's got Hera, it's also got Ezra, so it wants to be stressed. Um, and fire control system, so it doesn't really care about dice modification. Arvel is bailing? Not well, bailing. Arvel is swinging around to meet Suntir or uh, Karner Jacks head on, is what's happening there. Oh, uh, official Squid Gaming, this is table five. Squid Man Gaming. Squid Man Gaming, you're right. Arvel's going to have a much time, uh, much harder time here than, uh, well, than he did in the last game that uh, Gus played, um, if only because uh, pilot skill here against uh, Guri and Manaru, 
uh, Arvel had PS, but against Soon Tier and not so much. Is Arvel at five? Arvel is five or six. Six, I think. Five or six, I can't remember. Uh, Either way, it's lower than yeah. uh, Soon Tier and. I think he. Karnor. Oh, sorry. Well, lower I think than Karnor. He's trying to get that Iron Pulse missile off first turn, you know? The Inquisitor? Yeah, trying to get that out. Just run the A Wing try. off the board? <laughs> yeah. There's a target lock. I'm guessing. I, I, and it's unobstructed. I, but if he wanted to use that, he should shoot with Karnor first. Yeah. All three of these are PS8, aren't they? There's one on the table. Can't see what that is. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that is two hits. That's right. Just... And that is one evade, but with autos. Two hits, one evade. You'll be able to tell from the effect. And the evade token. evade token. And what happens? So that was just regular fire from the Inquisitor, I think. And Karnor... Someone tell Alan to roll on the dice thing. <laughs> this goes with the two. And our bull is going to spend his vein to dodge that. Or his always on the So probably no Alan Pulse missiles for the fire. He appears to be saving them for the ghost. Yeah. yeah, you save those for the ghost when you can get him in a bad position. All right. Yeah, but also with that back arc because it's Zeb. Yes. That back arc is nasty. And nothing hits Karnor. And nothing happens. Alan's playing really conservative there. I'm surprised to see Alan using his regional dice. There was one of them in there. Why? Uh, <laughs> he often says that they are no good. Um, well, he, he did a semi-scientific study of dice performance. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if you saw that. No. He posted it on the FFG forum, forums. <laughs> comparing third-party dice to um, FFG prize dice and FFG regular dice. Anyway, the upshot was the third-party dice are, are really weird, and the FFG dice did do better than average in the samples. Huh. But they weren't, I mean, they weren't exactly as big as the samples could have been. Right. <laughs> I have a feeling that that ghost is going to three bank. Into that clearing? Yeah, I mean, he just wants that ghost in the crowd, right? So he's yeah. just gonna run towards them. Yeah, and then probably. And then now it's probably gonna bait him with Omega Leader. Yeah, I think you're right about that, Devin. Sorry, Callus, Agent Callus. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, he's just doing oh, the four straight. Four straight. Yeah. Into that Debrez. Yep, right into the Debris. It's not like he cares. The free bank trying to get away from the board edge. Trying to get, um, trying to bump, yeah. uh, cause Karner to bump. Now, if you can't spend a focus token, you just need to have a focus token to fire proton rockets, yeah. right? Yeah. Karnor just does a four straight to get out. Watch our co-pilot's really good against rockets. Because mm -hmm. they have to spend the focus on defending if you're higher pilot skill. Is just running, swinging around to get behind the ghost. Well, he was in a position such that Arvel couldn't bank two, target lock and focus. Right. Um, I'll make the leader of the going to target lock or barrel roll away. I would target lock the ghost here. Yeah, you don't want its primaries and you don't want its ions, right? It Maybe. would be obstructed, so that would be 4v4. Four four. Four. It comes down to what you want to do with it next round, with the Mega Leader. If you barrel roll, he probably can uh, have the uh, Iron Cannon turret. Yeah. Yep, there's the barrel roll. He'll just risk taking the primaries. 
Primaries range three. Constructed range three. Yeah. That's five dice. Sure against four, but he also has that insurance of eight. Uh, Um, the chopper only has uh, one modification here with Ezra at the moment. Yeah. No, no target lock or anything like that. So it's not a huge deal to have the target lock on chopper just yet. You can get it next turn. Well, I got a barrel roll with the quiz. I think you might just token up and shoot Arbel in the face. Yep. Cause no, but what about that rocket? Does he have a focus? No, he has nothing because he he, did, he didn't do a green maneuver. Tried to get position. Yeah. Oh, he's picked up the barrel roll template. Oh, Can he's he doing it. Yeah, he'll push the yeah. yeah, there's no need to take that shot, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, focus. No need to charge the wall because no one's shooting you. Ooh, Alan is tired. <laughs> All right. Alan's really got to get in the habit of rolling where he needs to roll. All right. Two hits and a crit. Two hits and a crit. And uh, Arbel needs to roll something here. Uh, that looks at least one of eight there. No, that's three of eights. Is it? Oh. What are they checking? Okay. Gus is checking the range for his yeah. uh, cannon shot. Looks like it's out of range to me. He hasn't got it. No, not even close. But he's using the opportunity to do some measurement. Oh, oh maybe. Oh, how about yeah. that? I'm always surprised by that so base. He's gonna double tap, probably. Just throw the Inquisitor towards the board edge if he can. <laughs> uh, Apostasis is wondering when the. Uh, the rest of these videos are going to be on YouTube. Sometime within the next week or so, probably. We need time to chop them up, upload them, etc. So, what's that target lock? I think he just missed, and now he's firing again at the end phase. So that's two damage. Easily evadable, yeah, that's one, and then the thrust. And the Inquisitor don't care. I guess it's a tiny bit of a rebel showdown. Sorry? It's a tiny bit of a rebel showdown. Uh, Gus told me when we were facing, uh, it's supposed to be a Star Wars rebel sh sh uh, list, because Zab, Chopper, Hera. and the A-Wing. That's true. Uh, in, in Rebels, they do use the A-Wings a lot. We don't see much in the way of X-Wings or... Uh, well, on that show, they haven't been invented yet. Yeah, right. The X wings haven't been invented Though yet. The Y wings are there because y -wings, of the Clone B wings. Wars. Wondering why Zeds aren't there. They were in the Clone Wars. Hmm. Well, this they is are. not that interesting. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, they're actually on the Clone Wars TV show once or twice, and they're definitely in the movie. But they're just not there often. They're in the movie. Yeah. They did recently uh, make Defenders canon again. What by uh, showing them in Rebels. Uh, Revenge of the Sith. Oh, that one? With the arcs? Yep. Yeah, the scene at the opening. All right. So, predictions, fellas? Chopper's going to hard three again, probably. Yeah. Try to get probably. in front of Omega Leader. I'm probably guessing a hard one with Omega Leader. Yeah. Uh, Gus might try to pit Sir uh, Omega Leader. Yep. Then probably barrel roll away from the arc. Does the tap have a sloop? No. Taps just have uh, K-turns, right? Yeah. Yeah, the tap, tap is also stressed. It is stressed. You're right. Tap? Tap? One turn. His target is the Inquisitor. Yeah. I'm guessing he... Well, Carter doesn't really matter because Ghost won't take focus tokens. And... Megalitter will just be a pesky fly. And Arbel turns in. Yep. Going after Omega Leader. I'm guessing the hard one from Omega Leader. Does the tap boost? No? No boost on the, the tap? tap? It's the tap. 
given how the bad a bump would be for a mega leader. Oh, I got it. Yeah, the tap boost, yeah, sorry. It does boost. So hard one and a boost means tap can start getting shots on the Inquisitor, or uh, on the chopper, that is. K? No, five straight. Five straight. Four K is the K turn for Echo. Mega Leader's just running. I'm well, he's in a good spot now. He can target lock somebody he wants to yeah. mess with. Probably I'm the ghost. Carol will yeah. light out of range if he thinks he's in. Maybe. Well, he's not going to be in range of the primary arrow. No, no, he wants to dodge out of the, of the turret. So if he takes one hit from the turret, he's dead, right? Sure, but that's only range one to two. Yeah, it's true, it's true. That's out. Yeah. So, no worries. Yeah. Question is what Alan is doing. You're aware we are. Uh, I mean, you can you can join us. Just <laughs> just want you to know. Everyone <laughs> saw you gonna get a when shot off. When you finish your match, when you bring up the match, but please also bring the play mat. There you go. Soon tier and oh, I'm sorry, I keep saying soon tier. Carnor turning around. I wonder when he'll use those iron pulse missiles on the quiz. You think you'll use them on the ghost? I thought that you might wanna put Argo in a bad position. Yeah, but he seemed to want to go for the damage in the last couple turns, yeah. so... I Is that anybody taking damage, you know? No one's taking any damage yet. Nope. Mm -hmm. Surprising. Barrel roll. Turn over his barrel rolling back. Nice haircut on, uh... Alan. <laughs> yep. Points for his haircut. Alan's, Alan's taking great pains to stay at range 3 of, uh... The of the ghost. Really does not want uh, to get those ion tokens, and that's fair. Because if he got ion now, he would uh, sell it into that rock, maybe, yeah. because it's white. Well, that's the thing, is as soon as he gets ioned, uh, the ghost can then just plant itself in front of you, yeah. and uh, you just start bumping him forever. Unless you do, like, a four straight, and then the ion Well, no, but if you get ioned, true. right? Uh, and then Arbol also... can just take your picking, take the pickings off of you. In theory. Probably took a target lock on Arbol. Yeah. Nope. Oh, no. Ghost. ghost. He's just gonna swing around and have ever throw everyone at the ghost. Try and ignore the A-wing as long as possible. Well, the A-wing, as long as there are no crockets, as long as they, uh, as long as the crockets and... aren't uh, so. I'm pretty sure that's three hits because of the focus. Use the dice I think it was just two. <laughs> Should I go tell him that? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So it's range two, three. No, range three. So how many shields off? I, I think he took a shield off the ghost. No, but wasn't it three damage? One no, day. I don't think so. Yeah, but what if he gets to roll one dice? At the end of the round, I'll go check the. Uh, okay. I think that might be a range two shot. It okay, might well be. No. So. No. That's the one thing I find annoying with the ghost. It's bigger than the. Yeah. Base. Can you have Gus just shift his cards over a couple inches? Gus, if he just shifts his cards up a couple inches, we can see them. How many shields off chopper? Don't know yet. So we've got three hits here, or three potentials. And we have a fistful of dice for the Inquisitor. That's an evade, an eye, and three blanks. Autos will kick in. Yep. It's a primary shot, so he's considering taking one damage here. Nope. Tokens. It's been something. Pretty sure that was a focus on autos. So how much damage off the chopper? Looks like he's taken two damage so far. No, there's 
no damage taken there. Oh, the ghost. Yeah, yeah, I'm a ghost. Oh, so two yeah. shields off. Two shields off Chopper. Right. Every little bit helps. That was a range three shot. John Blur, no, this is not the top table. This is currently table five. Alan, I believe it's four and one, and I don't know about Gus, but I think he's doing pretty well. Gus is probably also four and one. Are they actually arranging the tables by MOV for the leader? There, okay. It looks but like Joe and Keith Smith are on table one then. Right. Joe, Joe Silva and Peter Smith are fighting out their round six over there at table one. But was it uh, uh, Joe just on it? Yep, that was Joe that we just saw. Yeah, but he was 5 and 0. Right? Well, if he was 5 and 0, then he's 6 and 0 now. Because he won. No, he was 4 and 0 then. Sure. Well, I don't know what he was. I don't know. Yeah, now he would be uh, 6 and 0, I guess. Or 5 and 0, that is. No, supposing he wins. Supposing he wins, he will be 6 and 0. Oh man. Alan's uh, very carefully avoiding all these shenanigans here. Well, you're too bang with uh, Karnor. He can't stay out of range three forever, or out of range two forever. He can stay out for a long time. Is that a 5k? Yep. See, what's 5K. happening here, I think, is Alan is nope, attempting to bait the ghost towards the board edge to shoot him with the Ion Pulse missiles. Right. Because this would be a great spot to Ion Pulse him. He's on the rock. He's is not he? going to get an Ion Pulse shot, whatever happens. Ion Pulse is two to three. Oh, yeah. that's a shame. can't roll out. It's fine. He's going to get a range one shot with the Inquisitor. Yeah. Is he on the rock? Oh, he's on the rock. All, all shots are range one with the Inquisitor. Yeah. <laughs> right. So let's see. Uh, is that a black? That looked like a miss or a focus. Seems like the ghost will be getting some shots on somebody. Well, no, the ghost is on the rocks, so the ghost isn't shooting this turn. Yeah, true. So. This is probably the turn. If only he had rockets. You know, it would be really fun. I'm you know, pulsing that A wing. This is the plan, right? Yeah. This is what we were setting up for bait him towards the board edge. Yeah. But he can't impulse him. Uh, he's going to get two range one shots from... And then probably like a range two or three from uh, uh, Karnor. I mean, he's, he's really lucky to have uh, Ooh, landed bang. him on the rock. Yeah. Um, well, yes and no. I mean, lucky in the sense that... Uh, I mean, that they won't, he won't get shot back, is my point. Sure, but um, he knew that would happen if he three banked. So he could have, Gus could have banked two and he might have made it. I was trying to figure that out. But the bank three was for sure. No, he was trying to. Surprising, you know, he just di didn't just go straight. Although that might have landed him on the other rock. Then he's pointing at the board edge. Sorry. Then he's pointing at the board edge. Also true. Well, I mean, he is now too, in a Maybe way. Maybe those ion pulses are one to three. Yeah. An ion right now would be fantastic. Boy, well, change the game. Though so you're probably bump Omega Leader. Oh yeah. But he would still be on the rock, so a mega leader could go past him. I feel a disturbance in the force, as though someone was about to lose a whole lot of shields. <laughs> uh, so do I. I feel it too. It's all, I'd say it's almost tempting for the Inquisitor to ion pulse. Uh, That's interesting. Well, he couldn't be that sure. Huh? He couldn't be that sure that uh, the, the bank three was coming. Yeah, I mean, I guess he turned that way. Um, Turn south with Karnor just in case yeah. uh, the um, ghost decided to hard three in front of him. If you were facing Alan in this list, who would you go after first? If I was fighting that Ooh. list with Karnor, always Karnor. Well, it depends on what I'm flying. If you're gonna, honestly, when you're a lower PS list, your your target is usually whoever you can get to. Also true. Um, whoever they give you is <laughs> that's it. Like. But I've been flying lower. But if you're higher PS, then... Then you make choices. If you're lower PS, you just go, wherever they stick in that spot there, I'm going to shoot at with my stuff. Well, Who's if shooting you're here? lower PS, then you try to... The Inquisitor. So, uh, Inquisitor just shot... Uh, I think two shields went off. Yep, chopper's down to only two shields. I think Alan just... This is the... 
wait, did he just spend a focus with the Omega Leader? Did he just spend his target block with Omega Leader? Yeah. He can't get shot back. Remember. He's not getting shot back this turn, so. And I believe that's the shields on Chopper. Yep, Chopper's down to zero Whoa. shields. Earthquake! Space Quake! <laughs> this ghost is more jiggly than Joe's Miranda. Mm. There's a terrible joke there that I'm not making. I would have been so tempted to Ion Pulse that A-Wing, but he could have just hard won and turned away from the board edge. It's not yeah. quite close enough. Too hard. Connor will too hard. Yeah. Plus the aiming's got auto thrusters. It might just end up a missed shot. And boy, is a great opportunity to shoot the ghost on the flank. True. And I mean, the, the, a wasted um, impulse missile. The ghost has to do a hard turn towards. Hard one. Towards uh, the Inquisitor, right? Yeah, hard one. Well, yeah, because the ghost cannot fit uh, where Omega Leader is. And he could try to hard turn into. Uh, Mega Leader, but if he doesn't turn sufficiently, he doesn't get off that rock. Right. So if he hard one, if the Ghost hard ones here, and the Inquisitor hard ones here as well, does the Inquisitor bump? Probably. Probably, right? Yes. It's not, yeah. It's really hard to Definitely. tell. Almost certainly. Because the part that you have to consider the, the center, the corner, the, the rotation part, is yeah. basically just behind the cockpit on the Ghost. Right. Yes. Which is a shame. This is a dangerous round for Alan because... Wait, he's he, got the... Oh, no, he doesn't have the target lock anymore. He spent he it. He doesn't want to get bumped. Yep, there's the hard one. Because he also has Iron Projector. Yes, he has Iron Projector and he is Chopper. So all of that sucks for Alan. What K turn does the... 4K. Tap at 4? But stress. He is stressed. Yep, he is stressed. So that's not a thing. I want horror. What do you do if you're Alan? I'm guessing one bank or two straight? That's his credit here. He's just working his way, trying to get those traps set up. And Karnor. Uh, is Karnor's pooping around into the mush effect right now. Just showboating. Hey, yeah. guy, you guys can do all the work. Yeah. <laughs> I did some baiting. You guys can. Yeah, have fun. Hey. All right, looks like the Inquisitor's Ooh, just doing one bank, which is just going to bump him against uh, Ooh, that's bad. the Ghost. It is bad. There's a 50-50 chance he'll him. end up ioned here. Ooh, and he's geez. definitely going to get a stress. That, I that a was focus. a focus. Yep. Oh, lucky break. Lucky, lucky, lucky. He's still going to get a stress, though. Not a huge issue for the tap, because it has those yeah. green uh, green one. ones. Yeah. But that, that ion was super... It would be really annoying. Because when you're stressed and then you get ion, yeah, sorry, you end up uh, you end up stressed for a few turns. Oh, nice Omega five. Omega is doing a five straight. Huh. Does it fit? Oh yeah. Yeah, that fits. There's plenty of room. I'm always surprised by Alan's choices. But they always seem so good. Yeah. Pretty well, sure he's actually out of arc there. But he could still get ion shot. Uh, ion cannon. So Paul, you a target lock on the ghost so he can't Ezra? Oh yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, definitely you want to target lock that ghost. Marvel's not doing anything. Yep. Um, yep, so there's the target lock on the ghost. Ooh, he has that shot. Range one Doesn't look like arc worked. Arvel doesn't. Range one obstructed. Oh, uh, the Inquisitor does, yeah. And he blanked. Alan keeps yeah. forgetting to use their dice tray. <laughs> Range on three the on the ghost. I believe that is. Does he evade it? Question. Let's 
let's see how many damage cards go down. One, two, That's a really good question. You think he can block the ghost next Ooh, turn? Oh, I think that's a direct hit, so four damage on him. Yeah. Oh yeah, direct hit, so four hull off of Chopper with a range three pot shot. Sorry? Four hull off of Chopper from a range three pot shot. Wow. Hit, hit, crit, and the crit was a direct hit. Is uh, the Inquisitor touching? Uh, yeah, yeah, if if Chopper goes off the board, so does Zeb. No, because doesn't he get to deploy? Not if it goes off the board. Ooh. So yeah, that's that's uh, 68 points right <laughs> off. Wasted. Now, how do you think he could make that happen? A hard... Hard three or hard one can... No, 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 but how would you block him off? Yeah, nothing, nothing can block it. The ghost moves first. Well, the hard one is blocked. Yeah. Hard three maybe is blocked. But he... Oh, yeah, no, Spence it's not going to happen. Spence gave a token. And everybody's fine except for the ghost. Yeah, the ghost can easily turn back uh, on the board. Here. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to be a problem. And in fact, I would not be surprised if he hard threes with the ghost... Uh, blocking Omega Leader's path. Omega Leader didn't get ionized there from the ion turret. Luckily. And Inquisitor's not ionized. Players. 30 minutes left in the round. Just over 30 minutes left in the round. And a reminder, please, when you're finished your match, please bring your play mat into the main stage. And when you're finished your match, and this is your match, please bring your play mat to the main stage. Yeah, I'll, I'll just count it, make sure they're all here. Thank you. No problem. So. Ghost hard threes. And quiz hard ones? Or goes after hard one? What do you do if you quiz? Inquisitor? Uh, hmm, good question. I might consider just doing a one forward and catching Arvel. You are not here to claim your top 64 prize. It will be handed down to the next person. What's the top 64 prize? I'm not sure. Is it at the altar? card? Which one? Red R? Red Ace? Massage? Red Ace? Maybe? I forget. Bumping. They're gonna train track this. Yep. <laughs> Does he one? go off of the board? He indeed bumps the Inquisitor. No, but you turn. Oh, is it off? No, he's a lot farther back than that. Somebody hold that damn Megalator down. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord, I can't watch. <laughs> Oh, there was a lot of interpretation going on there. Well, that works out okay for Gus. He's still on the board. I don't think there's a chance of him getting blocked there. He's safe with plenty of room to spare. Yeah. It looks a little narrower than uh, we see here. Yeah. Um, Are you checking decks for legality? No, I'm checking my deck. Uh, someone borrowed my deck from me. Right. Um, Look at that. Arvel's going to get his shot. I think he's second of the... Uh, Alan's guys are still unharmed. Did you go to regions? Did you... Yeah, I competed. I dropped out after four rounds. Why? I brought a silly list and it was having the inevitable consequences, which was I was losing. I was flying well, but I was losing. And uh gonna play French run or no? No. No? No. You guys are driving home just to catch the tip of you. Yeah, there is a good deal of map to the north. Yeah. About there, an inch or so? We try to get the whole thing in as reasonably as we can. Unfortunately, it's not that easy sometimes. Um, what's left on the ghost? Six hull? Yeah. 
Well, there's four all. Four minus six, ten is six. Bank three for Turner. That was and no hard one. Ooh, shield don't fit on the card. No. Just realized that. Probably has that shot on the ghost. I think the aces are just out flying him. I'm going to be interested to see what a bagel leader does. I'm guessing a sloop. I don't know why, but I'm guessing a sloop. Omega leader? I don't think I would sloop there. Not? The ghost behind me? Yeah, well, because the ghost will run past you after that. Mm -hmm. And remember, if he bumps Chopper, he takes a stress and an ion part. A chance and an ion. He's doing a hard to do now. I don't know there. He's just playing bay with uh, the ghost. Sometimes it'll be a risky play, but sometimes it pays off. I have a feeling that was... Oh, this Arbol didn't take a turn at all. is tokened up, has a shot, but is getting shot by Crockett's. I think if you're Gus here, you shoot the eye on... Yeah, you shoot the eye on manager at uh, the Inquisitor. If hoping you to tag survive, him and fly him off the board. If you survive, though. I think Carmack just blanked out. He did. Ouch. Alright. Target go off. Yep. Save that focus out. So that looked like three hits, just two. two. Two hits from the Inquisitor on the Ghost. Hey, Twitch stream. Uh, sorry, yeah, chat, can you hear us well enough? Are we talking loud enough into the mic? So, two off of the Ghost, four hole left. Yep. I suppose so long as... Oh, he launched the Rockets with no target lock, so it's only two. Ooh, nasty. Autos and evade. Only four hull remain on the Oh, just yet. took it. Thanks, PJ. Just took the shields. Right, that's the right call. So two shields off the Inquisitor. Awesome, thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, that's the five dice. Ghost, the rear arc shot. Is that... Three? It's five hits. Five hits. Inquisitor is always. He gets no auto thrusters. Takes three and, and oh. he's dead. There goes the Inquisitor. No. Which isn't too bad for Alan, given that. Well, he, the, uh, the ghost will be dead next round. Yeah, he kills the ghost. You have Zeb with one hold, unless he launches Zeb. Yeah. Only 26 minutes for me. Probably get an extra boost. Right, Zeb. Oh, we're going to the Zeb. That's how he killed my Dengar to go to find Zelda. Oh no. Dengar got the final shot to kill him. <laughs> back. But then it was 8v5. Right. Can't really win that, especially when you get four blanks. Now, if you're finding it difficult to turn your ship to your bell, uh, hard to in either direction. In order to clear your stress and every other goddamn ship that does that. I have a cardboard part two that you can turn in. Seems like a lot of stuff's being turned in. I don't think Jax would be fun here. But I don't think he's in range. He wouldn't. Oh. Plus, I think uh, Jax can actually make that one straight. Well, he would make the one straight and not hit the rock, but then he'd hit the rock the next turn. If he got hit again. Because he can go ahead and focus on it. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, Actually, no, 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 because he can barrel roll. Yeah. Yeah, right. No, 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 but he's stressed. Nice. All right. So 25 minutes left in this round or so, and... They appear to be back to dial, so... I uh, wonder if the Space Games group is literally packing up right now. We wanted to make any last-minute purchases, including to take advantage of our multiple regional promotions. I would recommend doing that right now. Mm -hmm. 
heard Emily's two LPs. Oh, well, it's new bank. So yeah, the rockets are gone. Three bank. Bumping the mega leader. The mega leader's just plowing into, uh, or uh, chopper's just plowing into a mega leader. Dear God. Things are Was that a 5k turn? No. No, no, just three bank. Uh, three bank. Interesting to see what Arvel does here. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, this, Gus's less than precise uh, placement uh, stressing you out there, Aaron? Yeah, it's, it's, it's giving me problems. <laughs> Do you think Alan will make the top cut if he loses? I don't know. I don't know what Alan's standing is. Probably. He's four and one. So if he gets a good MOB, because he has he has at least twenty five points. And then we don't know about the other games. Why are they chicken range one? Beats me. Oh, right, see if Karnar will let him evade. Yeah. Or focus. Oh, I forgot about his ability. Yeah, hmm? gets up. Sloop? Yeah, just sloop. Right, he's going for the kill. Yeah. yeah. It's a four hull ghost. So he's going to kill it right now. Yeah. yeah, that ghost will die. No more iron turret to worry about. Yeah. Taking the ghost off the board makes. Uh, and then it's gonna be hard for Zeb, you know. He's gonna have to get better. Alan's gonna have to get better dice than he has been. Nope, he's not killing it this round. Maybe double direct hit. Nice call though. He avoided that arbor block. Which would have been devastating. A bill roll here would give him a. Actually, he's already got Arvel in arc, I think. Yeah. Uh, so he can just focus up, focus target lock, and. Take a range one shot at Arvel. He can't lock with uh, Karnar. And again, since oh, he's probably not going to kill the ghost, he needs both of the tokens for defense. True. Focus evade. Yeah, but he might get lucky. And no, he can't get lucky because of that. I wouldn't count on it. Oh, boosting. Not taking that shot from. Uh, not, not shooting, but not taking the shot from Arvel. Now, he might be in the rear arc of the ghost. Sorry. My barrel. Yeah. No, he's got to. Uh, he's got to get a token here. I'm trying to think, like, what's the way out here for Gus? And I don't think there is a good one. Um, I don't know. Chopper will die eventually, even if he ions. Uh, like, if he successfully ions Omega Leader this turn, and then just gets him away, blocks Omega Leader forever. Remember, he can't mod his dice against Omega Leader. So he's throwing three unmodded dice. Exactly. You mean four? No, no. No, so with the ion two. cannon. That's okay. two focuses. Two eyeballs? Yeah. yeah. So you spend he, that? He can't afford, he can't afford to modify this. Okay. Spend his target lock. I think he's going after, uh, you know who? Cardinal. Hmm. No, nope, he's know. going after Omega Leader. Shooting Omega Leader. Odd choice. Only two dice? Oh, that was horrible. Oh. Now four dice from. Wow, is that an arc? No, it's not. It's, it's it must be. It must be going uh, after Carnor. He could shoot out the rear at Carnor. Four dice. He is. Yep. Two focuses. So and as just one to a crit. Like hit crit. Takes his free target lock. Carnor's gonna take that hit. Auto thrusters? No, he's in an arc. Oh, that's right. That is an arc. Focus it's not a turret. Focus takes that shield. There oh. goes four points. But four warriors points. What, he, what happened? Oh, he lost his shield. That's it. Okay, so yep. Karner lost his shield. That's all. And he's been his token. So Karner's now missing a shield. On, on and it's three hits for the eye on Cannon. And Karner rolls. Oh, three naturals. Three naturals? Oh, there's the Alan magic. Wow. That was pretty lucky, Alan. Oh, I guess it's that kind of luck that uh, makes him there. 
<laughs> that and a little bit of skill. Yeah. Just a little bit of skill. Just a little bit. That's right. I don't think I've ever beaten him. I've only played him a couple times. But. I think I've only played him once. And I lost because I'm playing a pretty bad list. <laughs> That's my guy. Team Bad List. That's us. <laughs> Actually, your Dengar Ventress list is pretty awesome. All right. So now here's where I'm worried for Omega Leader because he's he could get blocked easily by um, by Chopper here. Yep. Very easily. And Suntir doesn't have a way to turn around quick and uh, don't see why uh, uh, okay. the, the ghost wouldn't block him here. Yeah, I mean that's the move here. You block Omega Leader if you can. Or maybe 5K on the ghost. Yeah, but he's really built to block, right? And what is that? Yeah. One Just the one straight. He's aiming to block. Uh, he, stress. One thing that, that goes he has now has four stress instead of five, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> so he's hoping Alan went through the three straight to clear the stress. Oh, and the reasoning here is horrible. We'll get a shot. Mm hmm. Well, that and again the ion projector and sure. all that fun stuff. <laughs> and all the stress that he hands out. And the boost. Now, my guess was that Alan would do the hard two away. Yeah, yeah that's not. That Might as well focus. <laughs> All right. So there's a hard two for uh, Omega Leader, Leader, which was the right choice for Barrel sure. Uh, I don't. He could barrel roll in front of Arvel there if he really wanted. No barrel roll. If you barrel roll behind the Phantom, you get shot at. Barrel roll in front of Ar. Uh, Arvel, and you can lay a bunch of dice into him. Get your butt back here, Karnar. Now, Karnar's running back, but it's going to be a while. I think I'm my leader to die. Look at me, I made it. I almost killed the pit. I almost killed the ghost. Hop on, Omega Leader, hop on. We can't fit that boost. Straight boost. We are shot. Four naturals. Oh, jeez. No. Three evades? No. No. Two All evades. Paint. One eyeball, two evades. Yeah. And, no, so we can take two hits? No, only one. Because that's a blank. No, 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 that was, that was a hit. It, oh, it, it got knocked. Um, so, that could be... Uh, he could evade all of them if he just uses all his tokens. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I mean, that's the sort of rule... Really odds are with unmodified dice. <laughs> hey, Aaron, how are you? Good. You're on that. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How are you doing, dude? Is that Gus on stream again? It oh, is Gus is on stream like again. So <laughs> Alan's having a much better time of it than you did, but... Uh, <laughs> so, Omega Leader took a shield there from an Ion shot. Nope, didn't take anything. What's that crit token? Ion. That was uh, Tim Ralphs who just walked by, who played this uh, list against Gus really earlier sure on the stream earlier really today, round three, I think token. it was. That they don't have bad. actual Ion tokens. This is nasty. <laughs> this is nasty. I think that Gus has this. I get think Gus uh, beat the national champ. Maybe. I, I don't but think I, so. I shouldn't I don't be calling so. it. I don't no, know. no, no. 
uh, Carter, Carter might be able to finish. Carter can turn around or turn in here, take the pop, uh, take the range three pot shots, finish chopper off. Chopper's at four hall. He's not going to finish with one shot. So he's not range three. Players, not one shot. Around. It'll take two turns. But it's doable. A reminder, please, when you bring in your match list, please also bring the play match from your table. Yeah, but you must be able to get a two hits in a crit and direct it. To one shot, yeah. I mean, you could, you could do it in one shot, in theory. But, like, in two shots, for sure. As the stream says, Omega could live here. But... There's a very good chance he takes the damage going over that rock, and then he's fired at twice with an ion cannon turret. Was Omega ion too? Yeah, I think that's so. That's the green thing. Oh, that's the, the green dot. Okay. Green indicator yeah. means. Just bad news for Omega leader. Oh, yeah. Still, Connor Jacks could uh, cause problems for the uh, for the two here. Because uh, no. Uh, hmm? Focusing or evading on Arvel, that's just a uh, two dice. Yeah, Carna, anyway, Carna Carna Jack's so OPS is Arvel, so Carna Jacks could chase him down. Easy. Because you just have to predict. But that might be like, you know, nipping out three dice. Hmm? Nipping with three dice, maybe. It's one bank from the ghost. Just running towards the board edge, board edge. Huh. And there, out comes... He was just checking where he would have been with a hard one, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Two Arding coming to meet uh, Karnor, yep. saying hello. The bank won't give him a... The boost won't give him a block, though. To ride in a boost? No, definitely not a block. Uh, Carnor is probably doing a hard two. Yeah. Or my two bank boost. Carnor is going all three. He's going to hard three. Three bank? Or hard, hard three? three. Hard three. Yeah, good call. And can shoot our goal. And he can't use that obey token. He cannot. So you just focus? Focus, yeah. Focus up. Focus Do you evade? evade? Yeah. Yep. Whose target lock is that? Oh, it must be the ghost. The ghost. Oh, he didn't change it. How could he forget? There is a target lock and a Mega Leader. Oh, it's, the target lock and a Mega Leader is worth nothing. Because a Mega Leader has the ghost locked. Yeah. Target locks are doing anything. So Omega Leader will live. Right, once again, oh, no, it'll be the range three shot from the rear arc. We're gonna be tearing down the No, that's the range as one as shot. Can save for our star run, as well as three hits and a crit. So please three hits and a crit? After you match what our will take here. This is just blanks. Is that three blanks? If they are, our will be off the table right now. Arvel loses his shields and, and takes one damage. So that was just one evade, it looks like. What happened to the crit? Was it not a crit? Maybe it was, I don't know. Mm. Stuff I don't understand is happening. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a crit and we were just imagining things. One hit. Yeah. <laughs> Must have gotten an evade. Nothing happens there. Yep. One hole on Arvel. It's a hard call now. Karner could finish Arvel yeah. pretty quickly. Arvel's down to one hole. So I think Omega Leader hard turns here to try and get that shot on... Uh, or is he ioned again? No. They've just forgotten to remove it. Ah. The only shot the Ghost has here is this rear arc thing. And that's one a crit. one crit and... Evaded. Yeah. So Omega Leader lives. So why would hard turn with Omega Leader here, get a shot on Arvel, just just follow Arvel, finish him off, right? Yeah, and then just kill Arvel, then Alan can take his time, because he's got the game. Yeah. Well, they only have 10 minutes, but still, like, as soon as you kill Arvel, it's pretty easy to take down Chopper. Because, but, he 
just has to run away with Chopper. Yeah, it would be 42 to 65 at that point. Yeah, running away with Chopper would not be a good idea. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about half points. So it's, it would be 56 to 34 if Kale is harmful. Yeah, no, uh, 53. Sorry. 56. 56. 25 points plus Arvel's, uh... No, plus Zeb's 18. We're talking points killed. Zeb wouldn't be killed, right? Right. Yeah. So, so points killed would be 56. And if he kills Arvel. Yeah, sorry, guys. What, what do you do if you're a uh, Omega Leader and Cardon? I think you're right. You turn Omega Leader back to Arvel. Yeah, you just turn turn Omega Leader towards Arvel. Arvel runs. Away. Arvel I'm guessing runs. too hard from a... And boosts. And if Karnor does a, a hard turn as well... Yep, he's boosting. Hey, could you move that chat out of the way there? Move the chat to the top left. There you go. So there's the hard two from Karnor. Or uh, Omega Leader. He'll have that range 3 shot, it looks like. Did he have range? Uh, it looked like it. He's just placed his target lock, so yep. Right. <laughs> Stepping in. Going to... Nope. Oh. oh. Attention players. If you find yourself in the possession of an additional 3 straight, you've got someone looking for it. Okay, so uh, Connor Jax is... Just gonna hang out, and uh, you know what I would do here is barrel, barrel roll him towards Arvel to make sure Arvel can't spend that evade. Yeah. Actually, you can't modify. Is spending an evade modifying dice? Yeah, it is. So the evade right? is useless it's for all added. reasons. But Alan appears to be doing it anyway. Well, you want to avoid also, the debris too. And the ghost is coming towards this way. Exactly. Maybe leader rolls one hit. Just one hit. And that could be killing. Didn't spend his target lock? Nope. And that's killing. Yeah, it looks like it. Is that all blanks? Yep. We and a focus. Yep. There we go. Yeah, Arvel's off go. the board. Arvel dies and... So Alan is crawling back from what looked like certain defeat. Mm. I don't know about that. Oh. A long-range pot shot just took out uh, Arvel there. And now it's... Up to these two aces to take out a four hull chopper. You don't even need to. Well, yeah, you don't even need to. You just need to not die in the next seven minutes. Right, Still, you take out chopper, you ensure your win because there's only going to be 18 points on the board. Hmm? Yeah, but yep. that true. He has to kill both of them. One so, thing I hate about K wins, they have nine hull, so you have to. Kill what do you do all. if you're Gus? Do you hard three? Uh, hard three lands you on that rock. No, you hard one so you can take shots. No, it's your Gus. Yeah. Hard yeah. three lands you on that rock. No, hard three. The back fine. corner. You might be thinking bank three. No, I'm pretty sure hard three would land that would put the back corner on that rock. Uh, no, but uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Pretty sure. But if that happens. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So hard. it's just hard running. Hard three. There goes the ghost. He's got six minutes and thirty-one seconds remaining. Yeah. And now um, I'm betting. So hard two from Omega Leader. A two straight from two or three straight. Oh, just a hard one. Hmm. Cautious. Very cautious. Is there a boost on who the tie up? We'll no. No boost. Who do you think will win regionals? Hard to say. One of those people <laughs> out there on the floor. Maybe one of the ones in the bathroom. A hard know. one from. Uh, I think someone in Carnar. this building will win. Yes. Someone in this building will probably win. Unless they're outside having a cigarette. Someone who's on this campus will win. And nope. No good. No good. That boost is going to be on that debris. Yep. What was Gus doing there? I don't know. I think he went to combat. Yeah. I feel like Gus is a kind of a frantic kind of guy. 
It was out of range anyways, but yeah, that's a good move. Alan Barrel is for sure. And then next turn he can hard two and be pointing or hard one. Yeah, and then both of them there. And then Zeb has to and then Zeb has to take on the world. Yeah. So here's the question, do you deploy Zeb on this next turn? Well you do want that extra damage possible for Iron Kid. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want that hole off of Zeb. Yeah, you, you hold on to Zeb here. Why? Well, because you want to be able to take the double shots with the Ion Cannon. Yeah, but you're probably going to die, because you have two aces. Well, what Gus is hoping for is to get to range two. Although, that's true. Like, I mean, these two guys both shoot, shoot before Gus does. Okay, Omega Leader probably will get to range two. Shoot, probably do two-ish damage. And so will so will Karner, and, and, yeah. and Chopper will be dead. So then he takes the hole off... off on Zeb. The better target for the ghost is... Sorry, man. Uh, thanks for letting me in the yard. Now, I got a question. I went 6 and 0. Oh. Is there any chance you can sell me this? I'll pay you for it. Mm -hmm. I just can't get an arc. I you tried buying him on there. Pay me a favor. Oh, I'm so sorry about it's that. Okay. Uh, you got okay. If you have any okay, turn. Match, but please bring it to the main event stage. If you are fairly certain you are not in the top 16, we would ask you to pack up your tiny tiny Drop Zeb, I guess. There's nothing on Zeb. Zeb has no upgrade. Alright. Oh yeah, he wanted the Zeb. I don't think he has Arc there, so he'll boost. Oh, barrel. Or boost. Gets out of the main arc. What do I know? The, uh, yeah, we saw him pick up the three bank template. What the heck is he doing? I is think he, he was measuring. He, I, think he I think he was picking between those two, and he decided to go with the 5k, but he wanted to see what the three bank was gonna do, you know? Which is fine in a casual game. <laughs> I'm from Crotchety today, pardon me, folks. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Someone had to borrow my arc dial, and uh, <laughs> just had to figure things out there. <laughs> Should have sold the arc. No, no, no. I, I'm, I don't want to have to go through the hassle of getting myself another dial somehow. <laughs> All right. So there's the TL. So he 5 k which is interesting. It is. Well, because he got could, him a little closer to the targets. Yeah. He could poop out the. Uh, yeah, Phantom. Okay. The, the Phantom. Two minutes left. Well, they can't too hard either way. Oh, well, there you go. Is that three? It was four. Four and damage. That's the ghost. Yeah. So out comes our attack shuttle. Yeah. And go, can do shuttle, any go. any any move on his dial, right? And, and he comes out with one damage card. Yeah, so one hole off of Zeb. One hole off of Zeb to keep the shields. Wait. I'm gonna go find out. So the unfortunate thing about having our uh, our booth here out basically in the middle of the floor is that a lot of people coming in and out, in and out, so that's all the ambient noise and conversation you guys are hearing. We try to keep it low, but uh, thank you for bearing with us. Oh, so that's the attack shuttle. Two harding towards a mic leader, taking a stress and a possibility of a crit. A crit? Oh, because he's going over that debris, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. There's the damage. And there's the... But he doesn't Beautiful. get to shoot this turn, right? Yeah, he doesn't. That's the rules. You're probably going to have someone to search it up. Uh, we checked this last time, actually. He, we played oh, we on did? this. Yeah, so he gets a stress from going over the debris. He doesn't get to shoot. Well, for a crit. The ghost is dead. Is that oh. a crit? That looks like a blank. Nope. Something? Oh, oh it was a crit. Yeah. So he lo lost the shield as well. This is just not going well. Yeah, 
And they're calling it. They're calling game. No time for another round. So that's it. Connor Jackson, Omega leader, remain. Uh, and uh, only Zeb Aurelios yeah. manages to escape uh, the burning ghost. Four, three, so, two, and that's time. Yep, that's time. All right, players.